Support for this podcast and the following message are brought to you by Universal Pictures' Hail Caesar, written and directed by Oscar-winning filmmakers Joel and Ethan Cohen. Hail Caesar stars Josh Brolin, George Clooney, Scarlett Johansson, and Channing Tatum. In theaters February 5th. You've been waiting for this week all year. You slid in for that last appointment to get your Jaws tattoo, and we're going to need a bigger podcast, because it's Shark Week! My friend Anthony Jeselnik is a comedian who is playfully known as the Dark Prince of Comedy. His stand-up is sharp, biting, and very dark. So it's no wonder that he loves sharks. And in this bonus, we talk about a very specific party that got him in some deep water. You had a show on Comedy Central, The Jeselnik Offensive, and you made fun of, you had a, a sketch called Shark Party. Yeah. That was talking about uh, a guy in New Zealand who was had, was part of a shark attack. Yes, he was a part of a shark attack. That's a nice he, way to say was, it. He was eaten by a shark. He was yes. eaten by a shark. Uh, I every year it's like a real problem that sharks are being wiped out like worldwide. Like every year, hundreds of millions of sharks are killed for their fins or just for trophies or whatever. But hundreds of millions a year. This is a species that's, like, that's older than almost any other in the world, and we're wiping it out. Every year, 30, 35 people are killed by sharks. So whenever I hear about a shark attack, I'm like, yes. <laughs> right, I'm like, home team them. wins, yeah. So I thought on my show, let's have like a shark party and do like a crazy like blowout, like celebration of someone getting eaten by a shark. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. there were dancers. You yeah. danced. We had dance. I had to learn choreography. We had dancers come out, and I'm like dancing. And if you if you know anything about me, I do not dance. <laughs> if you see me dancing, you know one of two things is happening. I'm either completely hammered, or someone died in a shark attack. <laughs> so we had dancers who were like wearing shark dresses come out, and we're dancing. And then a girl, like wearing like a shark head and almost nothing else, comes out and gives me like a lap dance. Yeah. It was super tasteful. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. And uh, how'd it go over? It went over pretty big in America. In America, people thought the joke was that I danced. Like, they were like, Anthony, we know what your comedy's about. You're a monster. It was just funny to see you dance. Like, it was silly. But in New Zealand, where the guy was from who got eaten, <laughs> they'd never heard of me. And uh, they get the video over there, like it comes out online, and the media took it to the guy's family and were like, they're like, what do you think about this bit? I mean, their media is more sensationalist than I would have ever thought from New Zealand if they did that. I, can't, I didn't even know they had a media. There's like 30 <laughs> people. There's like 30 people over there. I thought like, this will be fine. And, they, and after that, like the story blew up. They went crazy. Yeah. They went really crazy. Yeah. But it's New Zealand. I'm sure it went away quickly. Um... Kind of. Kind of. A little bit. I think if you say the name Jesselnik in New Zealand, they, uh, they perk their ears up. I don't know if I could ever go there. I certainly got some death threats from the New Zealanders. Wow. Yeah, a lot of death threats from New Zealand. They don't have much to do. <laughs> so this was, like a big, this was like a big deal to them. A death threat from a New Zealander sounds almost adorable. It was. I was looking out for boomerangs left and right for, <laughs> for quite some time. I can't go see, I couldn't go see the latest Hobbit movie. <laughs> too, many, too many bad memories. Catch comedian Anthony Jeselnik on our show this week starting on Thursday and have a safe and jawsome Shark Week. <laughs>